Hey, we are in Walt Disney World training for the Walt Disney World Marathon. We are having the hardest time finding routes to run. So, oh man, stick with us. You're gonna see a lot. So we're running around the Contemporary. We are just over a mile in. There are little signs too with Mickey running saints. Stay on jogging path. But, but we need to cover five miles. So, oh, here comes the sign. I'll show it to you. So we ran about a mile and a half around the Contemporary. Not bad. More than I thought we would cover. Yeah. So we're headed back towards Magic Kingdom. And uh, we're going to try to use the relatively new sidewalk that connects it to uh, the Floridian, Grand Floridian. So come along. Yeah, so this walkway we're on right now, it's from Magic Kingdom to Grand Floridian. It's relatively new. We used to watch the progress of it being built, even though we didn't know what they were doing. This is really cool. Yeah, it's nice. It's what we wish we had from the Lunar Slot. Yeah. At least it's giving us more mileage. Yeah. In a single run. For you, Matthew. <laughs> okay. So there are signs around the resorts. These are kind of, I think, because there's some construction, they have like new signs, uh, making sure you don't walk where they don't want you to walk. So we're following some signs trying to get us to the uh, walkway to the Polynesian Resort. All right, so we're headed back to the Magic Kingdom. A mile and a quarter to go. A mile and a quarter to make five. So, oh boy. 
It's doable. Go around this way. Yeah. Okay, almost done. Dead end. It's stuff like this that makes it hard running around, you know? It's it's hard to get the miles. You kind of have to retrace and go in circles, but we're almost there. Yep. Ooh, monorail. If you've ever seen the electric water parade or not, those are the uh, units that deliver all the lights along the water. That's where they park them. All right, we got our five miles in. We did. Amazingly. We didn't even get to go all the way to Polynesia. We still pulled it off. Yep. So it's a. Uh, it, it wasn't. It wasn't easy though in terms uh, of the route. It's a lot of loop, loops of loops around. Yeah, but you can do it. So you can do five miles if you want to do the same route twice. You can get ten miles. It's just not. It's not made for uh, getting around that way. All right. Well, recap time coming up. We're on our boat back. Hey, hello everyone. We are back from an epic trip. Our vacation was wonderful. It was great. Uh, and for those of you who may not know, we just spent the last week at Walt Disney World. Not for a run Disney weekend. Just vacation. But we ran we while did we run. were there. And we learned a lot. Yeah. We, we set lot. out with the idea, the plan of running every day because we know how we eat at Disney World. So in an attempt to offset at least some of that, we're like, okay, that's it. We're gonna get up and we're gonna run every day. So the first day, we had a late night flight on Sunday. Oh so. my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah. So we were <laughs> supposed we we landed at twelve or eleven eleven fifty. Yeah, like right 11, around right yeah. around midnight. Yeah, eleven forty five. And, you know, we'd hoped, okay, let's go get a rental car. Nobody's going to be there. I mean, it's midnight. It's midnight. And then we're going to drive to an off-resort uh, hotel. Off-property, yeah. Off-property just to spend the night. Yeah. And then you had planned out in Austin, like, right there. Right there. There was a little lake right across the street. I'm yeah. like, oh, that's perfect. perfect. And I, the, I mapped it, and it would have been, like, the exactly correct distance for us to do mm -hmm. two laps and run for 30 minutes. So, mm -hmm. like, perfect. Great. Flight got in on time, which that was a risk that the flight would be delayed. Yeah. Like, last flight of the night, I mean, you know, no. your chances increase for yeah. it being delayed. Yeah, you can't control that stuff. It's like, whatever. But we got there on time. Yeah. We actually got there a little early. It's yeah. like, great, yeah. perfect. Very few people there. At we the airport. split up. David went to go get our bags. I went to, to go get the rental car. Bags popped out. Boom, boom. Ooh. And I kept waiting for the rental car. So there were five people in front of me uh -huh. and one employee. Uh -huh. And on average, it took every person like 10 minutes to get their car. Yeah. We were standing there for an hour. Yeah. We were tired too. We were standing there for an hour. So by the time we finally, you know, get to the car, get our little uh, toll tag transponder, figure out what this car is. And we got a truck. We're yeah, not we truck a... drivers. Yeah. And so <laughs> like figure out like where stuff is and how to yeah. maneuver in this thing. And uh, finally get 20 minutes away to our hotel Two o'clock, we made it to the hotel. Two in the morning. And, yeah, <laughs> two in the morning, and we're supposed to wake up at, like, uh, five to yeah, go Yeah, we were going to go run pretty early because like, we wanted yeah. to get there as early as possible the next okay. day to go spend a full yeah. day at Magic Kingdom. So, we didn't go running. No, we didn't. We maybe would have tried if we had slept better. The bed was not yeah. very comfortable, and it creaked every time we moved. And it was three hours and of sleep. It was three hours of sleep. So oh, I, and here's a fun yeah. fact. Then I raised the blinds. I'm like, oh, look, that's where we're uh, where we're supposed to run. It's a gated community. We couldn't have gotten in anyway <laughs> to run that yeah. neat circle that I found. 
Um, yeah, so it wouldn't have mattered. And extra bonus, the hotel also had no bathroom doors. What genius yeah. came up with this? Yeah, let's let's. Pop. The room sleeps four, <laughs> at least. We, maybe yeah. the couch pulls out and it sleeps yeah. like five to six. Yeah. Who doesn't put any doors on the yeah. bathrooms? So pause, pause on what? Our, pause on our trip. Are you if if you travel? Are you finding this new uh, design feature where hotels don't have a bathroom door at all? Because this is now our this second, is second one we've run across, and they're new. They're new hotels. They're they're brand new, and you know they're not like high end five star, but you know they're they're nice hotels. They're not cheap. There is no bathroom door at all, at all. I mean, if you're okay with it, you good know, on you. Yeah, but. Like, anyway. hey, uh, hey, you need to go get me some coffee. Uh, and, hey, I think I left something in the car. Take, take your time. Take about 20 minutes. <laughs> it, was it was It's crazy, weird. right? It's like there's so, no door. <laughs> that was day one. We didn't go running. Yeah, didn't okay, go. one day down. We've got four more days that we could potentially yeah, go Vacation. So, so, day two. The next day we get up, we go to the park, and we um, we park at our hotel, Women's Lodge. Yeah. Um, and we go spend a bunch of time in the park, great. Afternoon shower comes, cool. We go get our bags and yeah. check into our, yeah. our room yeah. uh, or key into our room. So again, we're staying, we stayed at the uh, Wilderness Lodge, which is, uh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's lodge. lovely. Um, so the next day we got up, we actually got a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. We got up, we went running. Yeah, we did. We had hoped that we might be able to run from Wilderness Lodge to Fort Wilderness. Right. Because, now I know you used to be able to do that. There used to be a running trail connecting those two. Mm -hmm. That was closed when they started working on that Reflections Resort that didn't happen. Um, so they, they shut that, that, that down. That's fine. But I was fiddling around on the Disney World app and saw that if I asked for directions from Wilderness Lodge to Fort Wilderness, it tells me to walk there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe this thing actually perfect. exists. Yeah, perfect. And so I, I looked on like, you know, a Google Maps view and it looked mm -hmm. like the road actually like mm -hmm. avoids reflections, you mm -hmm. know, whatever construction they did there, avoids it. So it's like, oh, okay, they're going to keep loopy loose out. Okay, and that's cool. Great. Oh. So we, we start running and we run around and Willard's Lodge is medium size. It's not like huge, you know, it's not like Pop Century or anything like that. Like it's not a big, 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 lots yeah. of sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. If we tried running probably every sidewalk and loop we could, we could maybe hit close to a mile. I don't think even more than a mile. Maybe if we included the parking lot, we could do it. We, long story short, we ended up running the same ground multiple times. Yeah. But on that first run, we were like, okay, let's go scope this out because yeah. maybe if we can do this, this will make our long run day, which we had planned for five miles for mm -hmm. our training run this week. Mm -hmm. This will make it easier because there's lots of ground at Fort Wilderness yeah. plus like a mile in between. Yeah. Uh, Willers Lodge and Fort Willers, like that's gonna be a piece of cake. Great, it's closed off. Yeah, it's like, closed. there's no way we're getting through there. No. There, are, um, there are even signs that say, you know, nobody's getting through. Yeah, cast so, members, maintenance only. So I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So we, you know, ran everywhere that we could yeah. around Willers Lodge. Well, we ran. Got yeah. up 30 minutes in, and yeah. great. great. And then, and then we ate and drank. Then we ate and drank. No, now here's the deal. Just for uh, anybody who who may not uh, know, and just for orientation's sake, so you have. Um, Let's say Magic Kingdom, if you're, if you're looking at a map, uh, map, Magic Kingdom, and then over here is a contemporary, that's the one that the, uh, uh, the, mat, uh, monorail. the monorail goes through, monorail. Con monorail. 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 contemporary, and then next to the contemporary is a Wilderness Lodge, and then next to that, further away, is a Fort Wilderness. So that's kind of the area we're talking about. Separated and, by water, though. Yeah, so there's water, right? So yeah. the, the, the man-made lakes that uh, Disney put in. You know, separate. They're not. They're not very far from each other, right? Magic Kingdom isn't very far from obviously Contemporary because it's right there, uh, but Contemporary is not very far from uh, where this lodge. They seem far away because each one has its own environment, right? Contemporary is more contemporary. It's it's you know a few trees and and lots of building. Whereas Wilderness Lodge, it's a wilderness, so just a ton of trees, and and you really can't see beyond the 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 lodge. You know, you can in certain certain parts. And then uh, for Wilderness, it's really, you know, Wilderness in Fort style. But there's no way to get to these places, really, it, without using public transportation, for the most part. Contemporary, you can walk to Magic Kingdom. But contemporary to anywhere else, 
yeah. you're gonna have to use uh, public transportation yeah. uh, i'm not i'm not it's not a complaint it's it's just it's just it would be nice to be able to walk there. Yeah, it's just the way it is. You know? Yeah. So, so, so we were kind of like landlocked, really, for, mm -hmm. for our runs. And yeah. now, leading up to this trip, I had done a lot of research about places that we might want to... We had a rental car that we might want to drive and run. Pop Century and Art of, Anim Art of Animation? Yeah. Like, they have... Like, that would be a neat run. Yeah. I thought... Um, um, the French Quarter, the Port Orleans would be a good run. Like mm -hmm. they have a lot of space. Caribbean has a lot of space. Yeah. Uh, like Caribbean Riviera area has a lot of space. Um, but it was really challenging to try to get there. So apparently you can't just like drive and park there unless you're staying there or unless you are, um, you have a dining reservation. And for a second, I thought about that. I'm like, well, I guess we could get some breakfast reservations, yeah. but heavy sweaters and <laughs> yeah. i don't think yeah you we could yeah. bear the yeah. thought of walking into a, re a reservation only restaurant and sitting down mm -hmm. sopping wet after running so oh, we decided yeah. to not do that yeah. on this trip alternatively we could potentially take the buses or you know whatever to get to these resorts same thing what are we supposed to do yeah. get back on soaked in sweat yeah. and then make our way so we ended up mostly confined to yeah. our resort to run yeah. So we did a very similar, we didn't run on Wednesday, no. but on Thursday, we did a very similar run to what we've done on Tuesday, uh -huh. just running around yeah. Wilderness Lodge. We did our training run on Friday. So right. we had to get, we, we had the goal of getting five miles in, right. which would be mind numbingly boring if we did around um, Wilderness Lodge, Correct. right? Because that's a lot of laps around that small park. Yeah, it really is. So what we decided to do, we do have a boat. So open air. <laughs> so when we're disgusting on the way back, we're not okay. going to be, you know, making yeah. anybody pass out yeah. or anything. Yeah. Uh, one of the ways to get from uh, Wilderness Lodge to Magic Kingdom is you take their boat transport. And it's really cool. It leaves Wilderness Lodge and it goes in between uh, Wilderness Lodge and Contemporary, mm -hmm. pops out in front of Magic Kingdom, mm -hmm. and it has its own little uh, uh, pier. And you dock, you get off, and you go right through security. Well, and if you, you watch the run, uh, that we did, you can see us doing that. Uh, great because it's open air. Yeah. And we're going to be yeah. sweaty and stinky and, mm -hmm. and, uh, so, anyway, so the challenge with that though, is the transportation really only starts running like a half an hour before park open, yeah. which we hit around that time. We yeah. actually barely missed the boat, right? Yeah. Was that the one where we barely missed it? Like, not too no, no, no. We got it. We, we, we got, got there it? just in time. Okay. There was another yeah. one that we missed. Yeah. But, um, so we got on, we went to Magic Kingdom when like the park's opening and tons of people are rolling in mm -hmm. and we went for a jog. So we ran towards Contemporary because right. that's connected by a sidewalk. Right. And so we, we ran through there. We ran all around the Contemporary. They have a nice little like jogging trail that's marked. Oh yeah. Yeah. You saw from the, from the run, they have that yeah. little, uh, little Mickey Mouse saying, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, remain on jogging trail. Yeah, and then we ran back to Magic Kingdom, and that got us, I don't know, a couple a miles? Over, yeah, over, was, over a mile. It was over a mile. And then the thing is, when you leave, you have to go back through security. We went through security. Right, so we went through security twice. Which luckily is like super fast now. Oh like, yeah, they like, do a great job. Searching. And we didn't have anything on us, yeah. except for, you know, the camera, and you know, that doesn't. And then, uh, then we used that, that new, uh, mm -hmm. that new sidewalk, or that new walking path, which was really cool. Yeah. And that was great. Yeah. So we were able to get all the way to um, Grand Floridian, mm -hmm. we ran through that, and then we were on our way to the Polynesian. Right. That used to be like a super simple, uh -huh. like along the beach kind of um, sidewalk as well, but I guess they're doing some construction, maybe where they, they tore down the Aloha, yeah. the, the, Hula, the, what is it? Luau, the Luau yeah. building. So there's lots of construction and they kind of put you off on like a service path mm -hmm. situation. And it was That's really kind of like, oh, this doesn't look... Yeah right but whatever we were following the signs yeah well then we get to where we we were out of grand Floridian. We we're almost to polynesian and there's like all these work trucks everywhere and this one was like oh, i'm so sorry yeah, the walking nice. path isn't open yeah <laughs> there had been torrential rain the night before yeah like, for hours so almost every day we were there save one one day we didn't get any rain uh, every late afternoon early evening it was a torrential downpour and, very and heavy no exaggeration it and the last torrential. two nights we were there it rained for a long time yeah hours so steadily so thursday night yeah. it rained so heavily that it 
it sort of washed out the mm -hmm. sidewalk that leads from the, the Grand yeah. Floridian. And so they were cleaning it up and she said, sorry, we need to clean so, it up. And it was not a big deal, but. Yeah. You know, so we had to like make up a little extra, yeah. right? Cause we were counting on that extra half a mile or yeah. whatever it was, yeah. you know? So we had to run around a little extra around mm -hmm. Grand Floridian, but we pulled it off. So we got mm -hmm. five, we made it back to Magic Kingdom right at five miles or to the boat launch right at five yeah. miles. And it was good. We could have run more yeah. if we had been able to run to Polynesian. Mm -hmm. And to TTC, you know, if you really want to get down to it, you can run around the TTC parking lot and yeah. really get some miles in if you're yeah. looking uh, to do that. But only only if you approach TTC from the Polynesian, because you can't get to the TTC from uh, Wilderness Lodge. No, yeah. Right, so you'd have to run oh, like Oh, and assuming did. there's not a torrential rainfall the night yeah. before, that would keep you from going from yeah. <laughs> Polynesian everywhere right. else. So we pulled it off. We did yeah. five miles. Yeah. Um, it was creative. It took some creativity to mm -hmm. figure out where to go and how to do it. But well, we did it. And then when we were done, what was really cool is since everybody is going, going to, to the, the park, park, when we got on the boat, we were, we were really the only two. two. So, so we sat in the back. Yeah. And uh, obviously you saw that too. Uh, and it was great. So uh, we learned a lot. Yeah. It's a shame. There's such neat running trails. Mm -hmm. They even, you know, have it on their website. Oh, you can run here. You can run here. But, but you have to you, stay there. You can't get or, there. They, you have to, it's you have like to have a dining here. or some sort of res dining reservation. One other thing we thought about and we we almost did um was driving to hollywood studios um parking there and then just running you know because there's a, a sidewalk connecting hollywood studios outside of the park hollywood studios to the boardwalk area and running around there we thought about doing that for our five miles so that's another option well on the day that we had uh, hollywood studios park reservation Yes, I don't know that they would have checked that though. Yeah, I think they just kind of like let you through, yeah, like, I don't know. show them whatever you I need to show them. To... I mean, there are ways to do it, but you have to be really creative. Again, the best way around all of the properties is public transportation. Uh, but if that's not what you want to do, or like you're trying to run, yeah. I don't, I don't really know. How, yeah, how, it's not super easy. Really but we found a route. Yeah. So yeah. next time, <laughs> if if we do this again. You know, we could probably get in seven miles, you know, going, yeah, you know, all the way potential. to Polynesian and TTC and then head back mm -hmm. or more. Yeah. Um, and it's nice because, you know, you're not, uh, actually, you shouldn't really even have to cross any streets. You're just on property. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was, that was cool. We felt really good about doing that because, boy, did we eat and drink. Yay. So some of the things we, we asked for what you all want to see so some of the things we um did receive requests for yeah um since we're talking about food and drink we'll talk about that so here we go uh food and wine festival is going on right now uh the request for um like recommendations there we can literally recommend everything that we tried mm -hmm. no uh, <laughs> remember food and wine yeah remember we're vegetarian right so yeah. we, we can't try everything uh but everything we could ha have we tried uh yeah. we did the uh emile's fromage montage right you get a little a little um booklet and you get your stamps uh, for every uh fromage montage specific uh choice you make and we did it twice because we had to get two glasses yeah we liked they, it that, as a prize at the end yeah. of course the prize those glasses were filled with a delicious soft serve and cheesecake okay. Uh, here's here's a beautiful yeah. image of it. It, it was, was all tasty. So yeah, everything everything that we had there was good. We had the grilled cheese in Greece. We had uh, crispy paneer in India. We had both of the raclettes that we could get from the Alps stand. Mm -hmm. The sweet one was <clears throat> by far favorite. more our favorite. Mm -hmm. um, I thought the bread was pretty dry on the potato one. Uh -huh. I mean, it was fine, but the sweet one was like yeah. top notch. Yeah. Uh, we had um, traditional mac and cheese as well as a vegan mac and cheese. The vegan mac and cheese was like kind of a Frito, Frito pie, pie, like they put in yeah. Fritos. Yeah. So it was like shredded cheese because, you know, vegan cheese shredded, not like a creamy sauce. And was like on top of pasta. It was, it was good. It was weird. Like it was, I wouldn't call it mac and cheese. I would call it Frito, uh, pie. Frito pie vegan with Frito pasta pie. in it. But it was good. Um, but it was very it was good. good. Um, what am I missing? Oh, the, the cheesy bread from... Brazil. Brazil was very good. Yeah, it, it, it was all. I mean, look at this stuff. Yeah, it it, it was so mm -hmm. delicious. Mm -hmm. And like the raclette, uh, it's Swiss cheese. It's a big, a big chunk of Swiss cheese that they put under a heating element, and and the top just starts to melt, and off. they scrape it off into your. And it was so good. The sweet, it, it had figs and candied pecans, 
pears. and pears. It was so yeah. good. So all of that. All of that. Highly recommend uh, uh, Emile's Fromage Montage. Mm -hmm. and, and the, you know, when you're done, and, and other than what you're paying for to eat, it's, it's free. I mean, yeah. you grab it and you do it. Uh, and then you pick up your prize when you get all five. You don't have to do all five on the same day. Uh, you just have to do five. You get a stamp at each. And you uh, can place. repeat too. Right. Like That's say the we raclette. Did. We got raclettes. Yeah, yeah, we got two raclettes. Uh, delicious uh, soft serve swirl with cheesecake and um, crumbles. Uh, graham cracker graham crackers. crumbles. Yeah. Uh, it was delicious. So that was awesome. Yep. Other things yep. though that we ate uh, that are part of the. Um, the food and wine. We got yuca fries that were really, really good. They also had a key lime lager there that paired exceptionally well oh, yeah. with, with the yeah. whatever seasoning they had on the on the yucca. Yeah. Uh, we got a potato gnocchi with um, mushrooms and a four cheese sauce that was rich and delightful. Got to do it. Look at this. Got a mimosa flight mm -hmm. from Shimmering Sips. Mm -hmm. We got the uh, the chocolate capirotada from Mexico. Oh my gosh, how can I forget oh, that? It's a yeah, Mexican so uh, bread pudding topped with uh, uh, melted Mexican chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you have got to try that. Yeah. It was, it was, it was so, all very good. It was Everything just was good. absolutely wonderful. All right, uh, so that's food of mine. Yeah, go for it. It all looked good. Uh, uh, we didn't go to Hawaii. We didn't go to Canada. They're uh, meat heavy, but mm -hmm. uh, the stuff that we saw coming out of there... Um, it looked wonderful. Yeah, it did. And, um, you know, uh, again, uh, we did both of those uh, fromage montages on different days. And each time uh, it rained on us heavily. Yep. Uh, it was so good we didn't care. We <laughs> ate in the rain. <laughs> we really did. Right? We were so... So that's that. Yeah. Looking forward to hearing back from you on if you're going, what you try, what you enjoy. Good stuff. Um, another request was a Tron update. Of course, we all have a Tron update now because of the D23 announcement that it won't be opening until, oh, I'm sorry, that it will be opening in spring 2023, but yeah. unfortunately that it probably won't be opening until after marathon weekend. Yeah, shoot. Um, maybe, but we, we rode the people mover and went by it and it looks awesome. They were out there working on the landscaping and stuff mm -hmm. and it looks, uh, or concrete, not really landscaping, but working on like yeah. the outside of it. Yeah, um, and there are a lot of people working mm -hmm. on it at, at the same time. It looks really cool. Yeah, it's really coming along. Matter of fact, we even, uh, for the first time, we tried uh, the Speedway. And uh, we were driving our Speedway car right here. And we got uh, uh, some other shots of it. It looks... Uh, it looks amazing. Yeah, and yeah. once, and I didn't get it on uh, video, but once uh, I saw one of the... Um, the light cycles uh, go by on the track. So, you know, again, we know that they're testing it. It was really cool to see. Mm -hmm. uh, that facility just looks so, looks cool. you know, Tron. So, yeah, yeah there you go uh, on that one. Okay, so Tron mm -hmm. recommendations. Um, our resort, here's some lovely shots for us. Yeah, we so love Wilderness Lodge. Wilderness Lodge is beautiful. Uh, you know, it, it's got, it has its own, uh, a geyser that goes off uh, four minutes to every hour. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's really beautiful. The facility itself is just it's expansive and uh, outdoorsy. Uh, it's it's just really really nice. Yeah. So that's where we were. We love mm -hmm. it. Everybody there is uh, very nice. Nice places to eat there too or drink. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that's one of our uh, one of our favorites. And, and then we had somebody ask about maybe showing a little footage of. Uh, the uh, Tower of Terror. Here's the Tower of Terror. We, we love Tower of we Terror. We love Tower of Terror. We are happy to report that it is still as exhilarating Wonderful. as ever. Yeah, it was It was really great. Um, the crowds weren't bad. They yeah. weren't bad, like, out and about, but the wait times were all super long. Mm. I It didn't seem to, like, yeah. reconcile for me. Yeah. Um, like, all the waits were really, really long, but it wasn't a sea of people everywhere that we went. Yeah, it, it wasn't. You know, I'm sure some of you have been there uh, when you're walking, let's say, um, to the Tower of Terror and you're going you're going down that street, sometimes you can barely move uh, just the number of people. We never had that issue mm -hmm. when we were there, but the wait time seemed a, a little long. Of course, uh, the first time we rode Tower of Terror, notice I said the first time, uh, it said the wait time was uh, 50 minutes. Sure. And it wasn't. It, it took us 30 at most. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah 
I it's think a game. I, again, yeah, macho head games yeah, playing with this. yeah, exactly. I think it's a way yeah. for them to manipulate the crowds to make sure that you know something isn't just so inundated. Uh, one day, the wait times shot up uh, in Hollywood Studios because the Rise of the Resistance was down mm -hmm. for most of the day, and I think that is such a popular ride, and it takes so many people that when it went down, there was nowhere else for everybody to go. So wait times just shot up, and then finally it came back, and mm -hmm. you know we were able to ride some other rides. Uh, so yeah, there's that one. Uh, mm -hmm. And then finally, uh, nobody asked, but uh, we rode for the first time the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Y'all, that ride is mind blowing. Uh, we won't we won't wow. tell you what it is. Wow, you you have got to ride <laughs> this ride. It it oh. Uh, Oh, man, I, I, I hope we can share with you uh, once you write it uh, what it's like. Cause oh man, and and just the uh, just the visuals and everything. You know, mm -hmm. it, it really is Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, they they have that uh, Zendarian uh, uh, space uh, cruiser up front, and you go inside, and uh, it's just it's wow. I mean, you cannot not love this ride because it is, yeah. it was just fantastic. It was wonderful. Yeah. So there's our, uh, there's our thing. Longer video than usual. We just had a lot to say. Yeah. And we have so much more to say, but we'll. I know we, we really, we really <laughs> do. But, you know, uh, we did learn a lot uh, about, you know, uh, how to run when we're there. Now, if anybody knows anything different or, yeah, or, or maybe we overlooked us, something, you know, let us know. Uh, but we were able to pull it off. We were able to do it. Um, you know, and, and as a last thing, we, again, we had a fantastic time. We really did. It was just so nice to be on vacation and then go there, like we said, for vacation. We had a, a phenomenal time and, and uh, we miss it already. Uh, but we're counting down to our next vacation, which, uh, uh, which is coming up pretty soon. Uh, I will say that there seems to be kind of a, um, maybe an anxiety or a frustration level that's higher than normal with people. And uh, we saw several instances of almost uh, fistfights. Uh, Fisticuffs. At the park, <sighs> at the parks. Uh, people just- uh, A little on edge. Yeah, people seem to be on edge. And, and uh, hey, it, 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 it was just kind of weird. Uh, and it also seems to be translating a bit to uh, to cast members too. And, and and I mean, how could it not, right? As anxiety goes up uh, in one place, it's going to go up in another. So it it was a little weird in that regard. And and so we were a little um, maybe on edge a bit. Uh, I mean, when you're in a when you're on a ride and it's crowded with you know hundreds of people and you're in a room. And then all of a sudden you hear yelling and you know some threats and stuff, and you realize, oh man, this this is gonna this is gonna go south pretty quick. That's not something you expect at at Disney. At Epcot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we just kind of wanted to share that because uh, you know maybe if uh, maybe if we go more, uh, we can <laughs> we we can tamper down the uh, oh, <laughs> the boy. frustration. Uh, but it, it, it was it was a little it was a little odd. Mm -hmm. um, overall, though, there it is. Uh, week twelve uh, modified. Oh yeah, and we didn't get like any stickers this week. That's okay. It'll just be a mostly blank week. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> our average, I think, when we looked at every day's uh, activity, I think we averaged about like ten miles a day. Yeah, about ten or eleven miles a day in movement. Some of that were uh, our runs on the on the mm. days that we ran, but uh, you know you you move around a lot, so we're gonna kind of we'll count them as our miscellaneous category. Yeah. yeah. But we didn't do any core. We didn't do any PT. I mean, you know, we ingested thousands. I of put calories. a lot of stuff in my core. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think that counts. That's what you're supposed to do, right? I think that counts. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, we hope that uh, we address some of your uh, requests. Um, Keep letting us know uh, how you're doing. Week 12, yeah. over. We're coming up to week 13. We're almost halfway there. Oh, that's right. And hopefully the weather will start cooling off a bit. We get closer and closer to uh, uh, races mm, that we can yeah. participate in. It's still pretty hot uh, and, and all over the place. So there you go. 
There you have it. Nice. Thank you so much for asking. Thanks for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe. Uh, and thank you to our subscribers. Remember, you hit that notification button, you'll find out right away. We tried to upload this yesterday. It wasn't happening. We got in late, uh, tired, uh, you know, yeah. vacation. Mm. It's always an adventure with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>